if you try to make that push for B, you risk giving up your spawn and the, the team back capping you while you overextend. But that said, get that triple cap, you're going to be re rewarded by double point climb. So it's definitely a tempting, <laughs> um, maybe a gamble to go for that. Ooh, and our first pick, very nice. And we have two A and B are capped by. Ooh, Divine Divan Damsel, very nice. Yeah, right off the bat, start the eights coming out really strong, and Divine Damsel continues it with a nice grenade up to A and taking down Memzi. Uh, she's gonna immediately rotate back and kind of helping her team uh, cover this B side. really good a b hold right now from start the eights they got they captured b so quickly um yeah, i think just for the just first a few seconds into the game and they're just <sighs> capped already <laughs> and now we have c as well where all three sites are held uh so that's a tough spot now watch and see where this spawn comes in i see one player from cod haters over in in whirlpool Maniel actually able to get to B. Maybe that's what Start the Eights wanted. Maybe they were happy to give up a B for C there, but um, we'll see how that plays out. Maniel gets a really nice jump shot and that player kind of hiding out the shock rifle. But there's not much cover when you're sitting on B. Definitely not. It's a very open spot and a lot of those angles from above as well looking at you. It's a, I'd say it's the hardest to cover. It's very, it's very open. Um, you can have some advantages there. You do have the shock rifle spawn. You do have grapple, um, but it's hard. And uh, kudos here to Divine Damsel, staying alive. She was cracked, and there's the grapple play. She also has a mangler. She has at least three, if not four, grenades uh, that she's sitting on. So she has a really nice kit, and she's gonna drop down and back smack right behind this player, catching them off guard. Great gameplay from Divine Dizamsel there, just holding B-Side and able to use her weapon and utilities all to her best ability. And while we were watching it though, it wasn't enough because you see COD haters were able to cap A and C, uh, even while putting that pressure on B. So a, a quick turnaround here and now points are climbing up in the favor of COD haters. Yeah, about two and a half minutes and COD haters is slowly catching up to some points. We got 75 to 24 on the screen right now. Yeah, plenty of time, plenty of time. Strongholds can can seem a little uh, sluggish from time to time. It's a longer, you know, you have to get up to the 250. So there's plenty of time here for COD haters to work their way back in. And it looks like they're trying to go for a B cap at this point. A little too much fire coming in there for Maniel to survive. We got some respawning here. Divine Damsel. Kind of keeping a watch over B and start the eighth lobby uh, was able to cap A, so now they they have majority control. Yeah, I love the way that um, Divine Damsel and Queen and Miss Audie and Monza they're playing this game right now. They're each holding sights. They're watching each other's back. They're helping each other out. Ooh, except for all four down right now. I'll take that oh. back one second. Oh, nice little reset <laughs> Man, right this there. This one's on you. Okay, this is not on me. No, I'm kidding. Uh, sometimes, sometimes the other team just wants to prove you wrong as the caster. It's just it's part of the job. Divine Damsel doing a good job staying alive. A nice little jump up here to see. They know that Memzi's back here, uh, but found her in time. I thought Memzi had the first shot off there, but wasn't able to finish. Maybe a double, you know, maybe any shot for two targets there. Uh, a tough one. For Memzi. Eagle team halfway to victory. Rotate over here to Monza. Monza sitting at four and four with three assists. Shock rifle in hand. Love what you can do with the shock rifle. Not 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 me, but other players. Let's we'll see what Monzi <laughs> can do with it specifically. Going over to Divine Damsel. She's just popping off. She's she's at ten and two yeah, right now. Yeah, she's just killing it. I mean, look at that. And Queen right above her, yeah. sixteen and four. Look at that team shooting though. Just a, a pinch right there on C. Meanwhile, Queen is defending A. You can't really see it happening. A Queen was over here defending A uh, while that pinch was happening on C. Shooter getting some nice picks. Going down, finishing off this kill on Divine Damsel. We saw some huge plays from Shooter in the last matchup. She's at eight and 10 right now. Don't let her get warmed up though. I'll warn you that much. 
Yeah, just wait till we're in the midway mark, see where she's at. That's right, that's right. Uh, Queen is uh, does not need any warm up. 18 and 5. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely not. This Blaine. is her game to slay, apparently. I like this rotation through control room. Yeah, I have to give it to the ace lobby. Their rotation and control of these stronghold points is just phenomenal right now. I mean, it shows on the score, but 186 to 28 right now. Miss Audi kind of patrolling Divine Damsel up at the attic here. A little pre-grenade. I like this save play. There's no reason for her to go aggressively into a 1v1 while once she's taking damage. That's the thing. When your team is in control of multiple zones, when the clock is ticking in your favor, you can play it as slow as you want, and it's still to your advantage. Right, exactly. Because for right now, you're just Ooh. watching. Oh, so, the body Ooh. shot swap to the BR finish for the double. Oh, Divine Damsel is making <laughs> so the plays that we wanted. <laughs> She's not done. She's not done. She's going to keep oh, it rolling. Uh, and taken down by Shooter. Let's see if Shooter can make it her time to shine. It's a nice capture on B, at least to stop the bleeding, but I think it might be too little too late as we're at 244. Oh no, there's a, there's a hold on C. It looks like Maniel was able to get on C in time to stop uh, the points. And now here we're going back up in favor of start the eighths, just seconds away, and they are gonna take game one in this best of three series. Yeah, hopefully it's a, a good pickup for them. You know, they obviously know this map pretty well. They know their players pretty well hopefully they can do the same thing and just like that we're gonna dive into the action starting off with nobody other than queen which is a great choice we already know what she's capable of unfortunately for her overshield did go to maniel over here for cod haters so let's see what she can do with it miss audi took her down with a bulldog shooter with a rocket kill and then monza took down shooter so uh, a little bit here a little bit of there Oh, we're going in for the push to see if we can get some picks here. Ooh, and the nice shots. On on shooter trying to crouch behind that counter, just not giving her enough cover. Yeah, unfortunately, just probably waiting for the recharge hiding in that little corner over there and just got yeah. head dinked. <laughs> hey, it's worth a shot, but a little bit of an early lead here from start the eighths, just ahead by three points now, seven to four. Vine Damsel with a nice grenade thruster play. Not able to finish off the kill. Can she use the thruster to get out of danger? She's in a bit of a pickle right now with targets hitting her from two sides. A good rotation using the mangler now. Does finish off the kill. Unfortunately does drop the mangler there, but nice kill to be able to turn that around. Absolutely. Right now we see a shooter kind of in a low ground position here. Queen trying to take advantage, but getting suppressed by teammates. Oh, and luckily her teammate was able to help with the back smack coming from there. <laughs> yeah, and this Audi, great play. There's the dynamo grenades coming over, trying to uh, contest for overshield spawn. Queen here starting off already at four and one. She's very hard to take down. There's the overshield. Oh, was I able to pick it up in time? Those dynamo grenades are so deadly. They really are, especially in a small map like this. If you throw them anywhere, they're just hitting you. It does look like Stars the Ace gets control of uh, Overshield. I can't see who this player is right now. I think it's Divine Damsel. It is. Divine um, Damsel, yeah, with the Overshield here. Pushing into the enemy team right off the bat. I like this flank. And this rotation from Monza is so smart. She's just creating opportunities for Damsel. Just grenading, just firing enough shots to make that kill yeah. a little easier for Divine Damsel to clean up. And there's so much you can do as a team when you're not worried about who gets the final shot, who gets the kill credit. Right, as long as you're working together like this team right here, you're all set. And they're past the halfway Wait. point here, 26 and 13. Uh, while this continues on waiting for rockets, I do want to say that 
going through the whole bracket right now. So we're in the top eight in the winner's bracket. We have BBs against Unets. Uh, Unets did take that, so they're going into the winner's semifinal. We also have Ping of the Hill versus Cool Balls, uh, the matchup we're watching. And then also uh, Bianca's Angels versus the boys. And Bianca's Angels actually pushes the boys who we watched earlier into the loser's bracket. So another team in the loser's bracket to keep your eye on as we continue on in this double elimination tournament. So two of the winner semifinal teams have been decided. Uh, the matchup we're watching will decide a third. Maniel here taking some mangler shots in the back, but able to grapple away, maybe regen. You see her going back to that counter to try to get some cover. Popular little counter. I just hope they serve coffee. Overshield getting ready to spawn. Queen trying to finish off this kill. Not able to connect, and the Bulldog did her in. Ooh, and Overshields is dropped as well from Miss Audi. It does look like Cod Haters are going to come believe, away. Yeah, Cod Haters have picked that up. See if they're going to pop that soon. Ooh, and a nice trade right there. And that's the end of the bulldog streak. There's only one shot left in it. It's an 11 and... point game and she just cleaned it out. No, no bulldog. <laughs> a little short of the spike grenade, but good presence of mind to be able to back off using that grapple to get better position. Nice, a nice grapple play. I like that. Yeah, that was pretty clean and it had it so the enemy team pushed into her teammate. So was able to get the pick still as well. So it's just kind of like a nice little pinch right there. I agree. And really good use of the grapple shot. Ms. Audi is also leading in kills right now with 14. So that's where we're, we're watching there. Watching here again. And a little bit of a 1v1 against the shotgun. And she does get the Ooh. win. See how she backs away to create space, knowing that the player has the bulldog. Not wanting to take it into close quarters against a shotgun. Really smart presence of mind. Anil coming out with Mangler. A couple of spike grenades as well. Watching in case anyone tries to drop down from above. They'd be in for a, a mangler of a surprise. <laughs> Divine Ooh, Damsel. Still holding trenches there. Was able to get that pick. This is an interesting little hold here for COD haters. They're kind of taking advantage of this low ground control. Yeah, it's a nice little uh, meetup for their team to go to. And take out some enemy might not be enough though as start the ace lobby you're just three points away from taking this series Ooh, let's see what shooter can lobby. do it is 48 to 36. oh it's gonna be it's gonna be one more point let's see yeah, who's it's gonna go more. to shooter's not done yet though. let's see what we can do with these rockets shooter She's made some huge plays here today. There together. Oh, that. and that will end it. 37.50, gonna go to start the eights and they'll move on to the winner's semifinals.